Hello everyone, this is the first session of Pathway to Power project, an initiative which aims to spotlight young professionals in energy area. We are here today with Amalia, a 25 years old ambitious engineer who works at Transelectrica, the Romanian TSO. Amalia, tell us more about you. What do you do at Transelectrica? Hello Radu, thank you so much for this invitation. As you said, I am working as a power system engineer for the Romanian TSO, Transelectrica. Uh, in Transelectrica, I deal with the connection to the grid of uh, new power plants that use um, renewable sources, new consumers, uh, and I give uh, a certification for works in uh, TSO's installation works determined by the connection in the distribution grid of new power plants or new consumers. In the same time, I am a PhD student at the Energy Engineering Doctoral School. In my PhD studies, uh, I'm developing a thesis about how to increase the resilience of substation to extreme weather events like hurricanes and floods as um, effects of um, climate change. I joined the SIGRE uh, Next Generation Network Romania because I believe in people and I think that uh, together we can do something important for the energy transition. Here I met a group of young specialists from different branches uh, in the um, energy sector. Uh, here we share ideas, we have um, common goals and we work together. We want to um, develop a uh, new project uh, that matters in the power system. In SIGRE Next Generation Network Romania, I have the position of um, scientific committee leader uh, where I coordinate a group of nine people. We are um, a small team but we have uh, very high goals. It looks like you're already involved in a lot of activities. Amalia, what, which is the biggest challenge you face in your professional life? One of the biggest challenges in my professional path and probably of all my colleagues in the energy sector is the speed of change. Change of standards, evolution in technology and all the considerations related to the introduction in the energy field of digitalization. But these are just some challenges we need to keep up with. Yes, you're right. The energy sector is indeed a very dynamic field of activity. It looks like you're really passionate about your activity. Tell us, what does the energy sector represent for you? For me, the energy sector is one of my passions. Working in this field makes me feel so motivated and so powerful that um, I can do something good and uh, something important for the world. Uh, I think when I choose um, this um, sector, I didn't know enough about it, but a few years later, I can say that um, this was one of the best decisions of my life. Okay, and now please tell us, in your opinion, which is the main challenge facing the energy systems worldwide? I consider that one of the biggest problems for power systems from all over the world is that they are in uh, different stages of uh, evolution and all these stages depend on uh, regulations, on um, economic and technical framework considered by each country. In the same time, in present, there are um, countries whose power systems are characterized by very limited uh, abilities and very limited secondary functions, while others are digitized, 
are equipped with um, systems that can prevent a uh, bad condition and can fix um, a problem before that human operators discover the existence of a failure. And which are the measures you believe we should apply for a proper development of the energy systems? One of the most important actions for the development of the energy field in a um, correct way, I think is the implementation of solutions that can um, reduce the greenhouse uh, gas emissions generated by the um, power systems. I think we can do this through diversification of energy sources building new power plants that use uh, renewable uh, sources and connecting them to the to the grid uh, i think it's very important to use uh, sv6 free equipment in um, our substation and uh, so on how do you think the energy systems will look like after 30 years in uh, 30 years, I think the power system will be more efficient, more reliable, more green and for sure uh, more digital. On the end of this interview, I would like to ask you how would you describe in one single word your activity in the energy sector? If uh, I had to say a word about uh, my work in uh, this field, I think that my work is so important because uh, I lead the country's energy future to green transition. And I think uh, we need to say thank you for all the people who sit back and do the hard work in the power system. Thank you for watching us and stay tuned for the other sessions of Cigarette Pathway to Power.